Thank you. So good morning, everybody. Um, to start uh, talking, MSF uh, has been working in Uzbekistan since 1998 in the semi-autonomous Republic of Karakapakstan uh, uh, in Uzbekistan, Central Asia. And uh, we have a program there uh, about tuberculosis. Uh, we diagnose and uh, treat patients uh, with the, uh, tuberculosis in cooperation with the Ministry of Health of the country. And since 2013, we have a specific guidelines for treatment of children there. Uh, Uzbekistan is one of the 27 countries of the world with high burden of MDR-TB, multidrug-resistant TB, and this high burden is also expected uh, within the uh, pediatric population because most often they will get this disease within their own houses or with the uh, adult which they are in close contact. And um, to diagnose uh, tuberculosis in children, we have unique challenges because usually children, they will get uh, unspecific symptoms such as cough or fever. And they will, uh, those of younger age, they have uh, usually in, uh, inability in producing sputum and also they have uh, pulse bacillary disease, which means they have low concentrations of the bacillus in in their lungs. Also, uh, to try to improve diagnosis of tuberculosis in children, we must uh, gather together the uh, symptoms, uh, radiological findings, and also laboratory results, which means uh, microbiological uh, results when it's possible. And uh, uh, also, it's very important history to take a, a great history of the children. So uh, in the history, it's very important to try to find uh, between the contacts of the children, uh, any person that is on treatment of tuberculosis, trying to figure out if this patient has uh, much drug resistant or much uh, drug sensitive tuberculosis, especially in those uh, cases that we have negative laboratory results. And uh, uh, this is part of contact tracing. It's, it's very important uh, trying to, to diagnose the children in the right way. And also trying to increase the laboratory results. We have uh, two different procedures that we can uh, do in children, uh, which are sputum induction, already implemented in Karakapakistan, and also gastric aspirated. So knowing about these difficulties in getting laboratory positive results in children, and also knowing that Uzbekistan is a country with high burden of uh, multidrug resistant TB, we decided to compare the treatment regimens prescribed for patients, pediatric patients with a positive laboratory uh, diagnosis of TB, and those with negative uh, laboratory uh, diagnosis. Uh, in Karakapakistan. We, for, for uh, this aim, we did a retrospective analysis of the routinely collected data from our program from 2013 to 2015 from our children and adolescents uh, with age uh, equal or less than 18 years old. As our results, we had the total number of 655 pediatric patients that were started on tuberculosis treatment uh, during this time, 2013 to 2015, in Karakapakistan. The major age of them was 13 years old. 51% of them were male. 20% uh, of them were less than six years old and 70% uh, of the total number did not have a positive uh, laboratory results, did not have a, a confirmation laboratory of tuberculosis. Uh, about the outcomes, we have data from 2013 to 2014, because when we were doing this research, many of uh, our 
uh, population that were started in 2015 did not uh, complete the treatment regime in uh, those uh, DS and DR. So our data is from the DS drug sensitive uh, patients from 2013 to 2014, 355 patients. Uh, from then, 69.5% had a good outcome, which means treatment completed, most of them, and cured. Cured, uh, it uh, needs to be with the positive laboratory results, uh, results on the beginning. And uh, we had one patient that died, one patient that was a failure. 3% uh, of them were lost of follow-up and uh, another 3% were transferred to MDR treatment regimens. And we had 24% uh, of our patients with missing data. We don't know the outcomes in our database. So from uh, our results, We had 86% eight, of our patients starting on treatment on drug sensitive uh, treatment, and uh, only 14% uh, percent of our patients starting on drug resistant treatment. And from the patients that were started on DS, uh, mainly uh, they had a negative lab results, and for those that started DR, mainly of, uh, uh, then they had a positive lab results. So from the 457 patients with negative lab results, well only 1% 1 of them were started on the R treatment. And from the 198 patients with positive lab results, 41% of them had uh, as diagnosis MDR uh, tuberculosis. The odds rate between those two different groups is 63 and, uh, and the p-value is less than 0.001. Uh, just to compare, the adult population in Karakapakistan, in a survey from 2011, 40% of them were started on the R treatment. Also, we compare the treatment between the patients less than 6 years old and those uh, from uh, 6 to 18 years old. And the odds ratio between uh, then is also uh, relevant of uh, the number 14, and our p-value is less than 0 0.001, meaning that uh, children less than six years old, only 4% of them uh, had positive laboratory results, and those uh, uh, children and adolescents from six to 18, 36% of them had positive laboratory results. Uh, also, when we were collecting this data, we realized that uh, 44 patients, they had more than one treatment course regime prescribed for them between 2013 and 2015. And uh, from these patients, uh, on the first treatment course that we have uh, on our database, 95% uh, of them uh, were started on DS treatment on their first regimen. And uh, this proportion drops to only 18% on their first treatment regimen. Uh, from those patients, 42 patients that were started on the S treatment on their first treatment regimen, 16 of them had a negative laboratory results, did not have microbiological confirmation of tuberculosis, and 26 of them had positive results. And from those, 81% were found later that they had uh, multidrug resistant tuberculosis and not DS. The range, the range time between the first treatment regimen and uh, the second treatment regimen, the, the correct regimen, were uh, very from 24 days to 246 days. So, in conclusion, the RTB is being underdiagnosed in children, especially those of younger age. And uh, uh, contact tracing is uh, critically important when there is a lack of lab diagnosis, uh, trying to identify uh, the potential source of the infection of the children and try to have the likelihood of DS or DRTB in children. Also, we 
we figured out that we need to increase suspicion of DRTB in children in Uzbekistan. Also, we need to, uh, to increase our efforts to get a lab diagnosis in children, such as uh, implementing gastric aspirate, which is uh, really good for those children less than six years old. And this, it's of critical importance to the contact tracing, especially in children without a lab diagnosis. I would like to thank uh, the Minister of Health of Karaka, Pakistan, and also the Epidemiology Department of MSF in Nukus, uh, especially uh, Dr. Robert O'Kenna. Thank you.